investors, and welcome to my YouTube channel, where I study the best investors and businesses from around the world. Today, we will be going through the strategies to implement when investing in stock. We will be getting into tips and knowledge from the world-renowned stock investor Warren Buffett. Today, we will take a little look into the bio of the richest businessman of all time, the one and only Oracle of Omaha. Warren Buffett has been and continues to be a role model for millions of investors across the globe. His rich investment history goes back to when he was just 11 years old when he bought his first stock. His impressive story has been used in hundreds of speeches globally and with every investor, beginner or pro being asked to emulate him. So who is Warren Buffett? In the video, we're going to look into the life of the man known as the Oracle of Omaha, highlighting the investments and the decisions that he made to become one of the richest and most respectable businessmen in the world. Warren Edward Buffett was born in 1930 to Howard and Leah Buffett in Omaha, Nebraska. As a child, Warren demonstrated a keen interest in financial and business matters and was described as a mathematical prodigy who could add large columns of numbers in his head, a gift that would serve him well in the future. Legend has it that he allegedly told his friend that if he was not a millionaire by the time he was 30, he would jump off the tallest building in Omaha. So when Warren was 11 years old, he made his first investment. He bought three shares of City Services prepared at $38 a share. The stock soon rose to $40 and he sold it, making a small profit, a decision he would later regret when the stock rose to $200 a share. He later cited this experience as an early lesson in patience in investing. At 13 years old, Warren worked as a paper boy. He would wake up at 4.30 in the morning to deliver copies of the Washington Post. He also sold magazine subscriptions and calendars to his newspaper subscribers on the side. By 15, Warren had made $2,000 delivering paper. This is about $26,000 in today's money. He invested $1,200 of that into a 40-acre farm where he had a profit-sharing agreement with a Nebraska farmer. As a sophomore in high school, 17-year-old Buffett partnered with a friend to purchase a used pinball machine for $25, which they placed in the local barbershop. Within months, they owned several machines in different barbershops across Omaha, bringing in about $25 a week. The business was later sold for $1,200 to a war veteran. Warren graduated from the University of Nebraska with a Bachelor's of Science degree and soon applied to Harvard Business School. Unfortunately, Warren was rejected. But this did not deter him in the slightest, and so he enrolled in Columbia Business School instead upon learning that Benjamin Graham taught there. He graduated with a Master of Science in Economics in 1951. In 1952, Warren returned to Omaha and worked as a stockbroker while taking a Dale Carnegie public speaking course. Using what he learned, he began teaching night classes in the University of Nebraska, but in 1954, he moved his family to New York where he worked with his mentor, Benjamin Graham. So far, we can see that Warren was not afraid to take up different jobs to achieve his long-term goal of going to business school. He bravely took on diverse business opportunities in order to make money and to invest it wisely later on. In 1954, Warren accepted a job at Benjamin Graham's partnership, his mentor and university professor's firm. His starting salary was $12,000 a year, about $109,000 in today's money. But in 1956, Benjamin Graham retired and closed his partnership. By this time, Warren's personal savings were over $174,000, which is about $1.5 million in today's money. Although Warren had moved around a lot over the years, he eventually decided to settle in his hometown of Omaha, in a house that cost him $31,500. Most millionaires live in houses that cost millions of dollars, but surprisingly, Warren's frugal nature made it difficult for him to accept that price tag. Warren spent most of his time as an investment salesman and in securities analyst. In 1956, he started the Buffett Partnership with his close friends and family. The partnership had unique conditions attached to it. Starting off, Warren asked one of his partners, a doctor, to find 10 other doctors willing to invest $10,000 each in his partnership. 
Eventually, Eleven agreed, and although Warren would initially only invest 100 of his own money, he would reinvest management fees and grow his stake in the partnership. By 1960, Buffett had opened a total of seven partnerships and had a 9.5% stake in more than a million dollars of partnership assets. By 1962, Warren Buffett became a millionaire because of his partnerships, which had excesses of $7 million over which a million belonged to Warren. He soon merged these partnerships into a single entity. In 1962, Warren Buffett made what he called his worst ever acquisition, the now famous Berkshire Hathaway. The New England textile company, originally started in the 1830s, had seen better days, but Warren Buffett saw an opportunity to make money. He believed that the root cause of his company's woes was because of its poor management style, so he began to aggressively buy shares after. A dispute with its management convinced him that the company needed a change in leadership, but still the business kept losing money. Times were not kind to the old textile giant. In 1966, it became obvious that the golden glory days of the New England Textile Company were over, and so Warren made a radical shift in the company's business dynamics that would propel it into a giant it is today. Buffett shifted Berkshire's focus gradually, away from its traditional textile endeavors and instead using it as a holding company to invest in other businesses. In 1967, Berkshire had enough money left to purchase two insurance companies, the first of many insurance companies he would buy. This was the turning point of Berkshire Hathaway's phenomenal success story. Warren used the insurance company's substantial cash flow to finance further acquisitions. Berkshire Hathaway today has a portfolio of 1,000 companies under management, with total assets exceeding $700 billion. Warren Buffett became a billionaire in 1990 when Berkshire started the sale of Class A shares. Warren is currently known for his contributions towards charity. One of his biggest donations was the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, where Warren gave 185 million shares of Berkshire Hathaway at a market value of $28.3 billion. Today, Warren is worth over $84 billion, and although physically he might be unremarkable, looking more like your grandfather than a corporate tie, intellectually, he is unrivaled and considered a genius. His simple, straightforward, and honest nature is hard not to love, and his wit and charm have captivated the world. While it's easy to think of him as a mythical figure, Warren Buffett is simply a person who found what he loved at an early age and stuck with it his entire life. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please share it with your friends and family. It helps the channel a lot. Leave in the comments section your thoughts about this video and who I should cover next. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.